Hello everyone and welcome to Politics Today on Channels Television. I'm Sheung Okimbalo. Such a packed full week of political activities. I know you've been following and monitoring the events of the past few days. You have to stay with us because we have such a number of issues to discuss on today's show. You know, the minister's screening is over and all the politicking over their confirmation is over now. So what is next? Can the crop of people waiting to be sworn in as ministers deliver on the lofty promises made by the APC during the election campaigns? Can the change agenda now begin or will still have to go steady? Well, the workout of the PDP senators and their emergency caucus meeting of the party brought a big question on the APC's integrity where the, sen the senators themselves spoke about it before they stormed out of the Red Chamber earlier the week. Does the PDP to have a moral justification for their confrontation on this matter and the light of history in that same chamber? What is the implication of all these events? Well, the PDP is not happy with several things and the election tribunal is chief amongst their grievances. Also, the Senate president is being praised by some APC members as being lawyer. How does that loyalty pay off considering the internal politics of the APC? Tonight on the program, we dig deep into these matters and bring you different perspectives to it. Well, let me bring in my guest now, who is joining us from our Abuja studio. Senator Sheo Sani joins us from our Abuja studio. He's an APC senator from Kaduna State in Nigeria's northwest region. Welcome to the program, Senator Sani. Uh, let me uh, start by asking you about uh, the Senate uh, ministerial screening. Before that, the leadership of the Senate has said that it will not be business as usual. But from your own assessment, it's been several weeks of uh, the, some of these nominees appearing before you and your colleagues, and they've been talking to us about what they have in plan. But with the way you handle it, I mean, the senators, was it really business as usual or just uh, business unusual? Uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, there are aspects of the training exercise that can be categorized as business as usual. And there are also some new innovations and inputs uh, in the confirmation exercise that could be said to be uh, not business as usual. Uh, for example, the convention that makes it possible for those who were senators or members of House of Reps to come in uh, answer just a few questions and then take a bow uh, is business as usual. And what is not business as usual is that we asked questions uh, to, uh, to the nominees to answer and those questions are contemporary issues that will reflect the interests and the policy focus of this government and that is different from the convention as it used to be in the past. So it cannot be said to be business as usual. Well, interesting. Considering the manner in which uh, uh, the Senate president got the job and uh, thereafter a lot of uh, internal politicking and a lot of disagreements within some members of the party as regarding the margin of uh, Senate President Dr. Bukhala Saraki. A lot of people uh, in the party, after the confirmation, had praised the way he handled things. But from your own perspective, what would you make of his uh, performance? Because he is now the leader of the party, the chairman of the National Assembly. If we look at the old... Uh, the, the whole process from the beginning to the end, it was his leadership that said it won't be business as usual. But for him, how would you assess his handling uh, of this matter? Well, um, if you go backwards a bit to the history of the APC, uh, the APC uh, is not a communist party. It is not a party that was founded on ideology. It was a convergence of black minds uh, with a common goal of evicting the PDP and also bringing about a democratic change which was achieved a few months ago. Now, the crisis that heralded the emergence of the Ed Senate uh, came to define its operation and also its perception from the side of the public. 
And the Senate president being one that has in the last few months been uh, categorized, lampooned, uh, stigmatized, and labeled as being disloyal to the party, has in the last uh, screening exercise proved to the contrary. Uh, he was able to uh, galvanize solidarity, at least within the APC uh, caucus in the House, to back the nominees that were sent in by uh, the government. And then you can also see how he was also able to uh, hold the House together, despite the uh, problems which we had in the last few days over the work out by the PDP. But it was very clear that the solidarity, the harmony within the, the, the legislators, particularly all the senators, has been able to keep the House together. And that could squarely be uh, pointed to his own uh, style of leadership. Uh, all the predictions of chaos, of implosion, of apocalypse happening within the Senate uh, never, has not come to pass. And also we have seen how uh, the Senate, that uh, particularly those of us from the APC, that we are being perceived to be divided, always at target door with each other. We have also proven to uh, be committed towards working to advance the cause and interest of the party. And that uh, could be attributed to the leadership of the Senate and also uh, disappointing those who think otherwise. Interesting. Uh we understand from the news coming in now from the presidency, uh, there may just be some, uh, the, the portfolios to these ministers, we might be seeing them in the coming week. The president media advisor, Mr. Femi Adishina, says that it is most likely that the president dots his I's and crosses his T's and then make final pronouncements on the matter. I was speaking with China's television earlier. And according to him, he says, yes, it's most likely that the portfolios for the new ministers will be announced uh, this week. But it's, this is, according to him, entirely the president's prerogative, and he has a final say on it. Once it is decided, as is to publicize his decision. That's according to Mr. Femi Adeshina. Well, on the list of ministers which has gone viral online, Mr. Adeshina says it should the disregard as those who publish those names and portfolios are mere speculating. He says there is nothing to worry about since Nigerians have waited this long. They will indeed get the best. Those are uh, the kind of news that we're getting from the presidency. And it shows clearly that the coming week may be just be very, very interesting. But let me ask you, Senator Sani, a lot of Nigerians have been asking... This is uh, several months since President Muhammad Buhari took office. And he said that he's going to take things easy and steadily. But with the crop of people that we have on the cabinet, we have 36 ministerial designates now. Do you think that with all of the things that the party has promised in the, uh, in the build up to the election of 2015, do you think we have a team that would deliver on those promises? Well, um, what we all need to understand is that we inherited uh, a nation uh, with the people that have been disappointed and have been frustrated and have been abandoned, neglected. And we in inherited a government that is, uh, what I can say in clear terms, that presided over a nation that has paralyzed. And... Um, to start a new beginning, we have to take lessons from the mistakes of the past. Uh, President Muhammad Buhari had to carefully select his uh, ministers, to, and those ministers uh, are enjoyed to reflect the new spirit and the new order in the country, and particularly to serve as the image of the new government that is focused on change. And I believe there are two schools of thought. Some people believe that our president uh, or perceive him to be slow, that he ought to have uh, constituted his cabinet right from the time which he took over. And then some felt that he need to take his time so that we don't make the mistakes which we 
uh, had in the last 16 years. And I align myself squarely with the later school of thought uh, for the very fact that um, uh, what is on the ground now uh, has not been what we anticipated when we were coming into office. You can recall the controversies as far as the handover notes are concerned, uh, the debt which we have inherited, the, uh, the depleting for a reserve, the collapse of the economy, and also the mountains of expectation which doesn't tally with the resources that are on the ground. So for anyone who is starting a new beginning, you have to be very careful. We were made to work on a field of landmines, and if you have to work on a field of landmines, you have to be very careful. And I can say it clearly that uh, it was deliberate to ensure that the uh, takeoff is not done with any mistake and also the flow of government activities also is done that will reflect the uh, spirit of the new government. Uh, so certainly there are bound to be people who will raise issues, uh, but the most important thing is that government at the end of the day should be able to deliver. And uh, there is no doubt about the steps taken by the president as far as the key issues that bedevils uh, our unconscious and also the stability, the unity and progress of Nigerian state are uh, carefully been uh, given a new lease of life. Uh, he said it clearly that he is taking on security, he is taking on corruption, uh, he is taking on the economy. And you can see steps on the side of the economy. Uh, you can also see what he is doing as far as the, uh, the crisis in the North is the violence. And you can also see the steps which he has, take, has taken as far as the issue of corruption is concerned. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, we have made progress in the last four months. But um, we still have a long way to go. And uh, with the ministers coming in, they are quite aware that uh, they must hit the ground running uh, because um, expectations, uh, hopes and goodwill all have uh, an expiry period. So I, uh, the advice I will give to all those who are very impatient is that they should uh, look at the circumstances we find ourselves and also give him the benefit of doubt that uh, Nigeria will work and is going to work under the new administration of Muhammad Buhari.